Italian immigrants to America started selling pizza in urban areas at the turn of the 20th century, but England had to wait a little longer. This is Olivelli's restaurant, which was the first in London to begin selling pizzas in 1934. Rita and Enrico Olivelli emigrated here from Sicily and they began serving pizza to the students from the nearby London University, Rada, round the corner. Then it was still very, very cheap, incredibly filling, but impossibly exotic. Since Olivelli served their first slice, pizza has gone from strength to strength across the UK. It's continued to be a cheap filler for rich and poor alike, but in many ways it's become the ultimate junk food. I've come here to Chiswick to find a particular pizzeria that's got London's food lovers very excited. There's been all sorts of talk about an authentic oven running at very high temperatures and about a secret Neapolitan sourdough recipe. And I'm hoping they're going to show me how it's all done. This pizza is very complicated because it's very soft. A little bit tomato make the traditional pizza, margherita, easy pizza, normal pizza in the world. It's very light, no very strong cheese. And um, putting a little bit parmesan and oil. This movement is very, very complicated and traditional, Napolitan. This one. just swung that onto the peel. That's yeah. brilliant, okay. Easy, finish. Yep. Take the pizza, put it in the oven. Almost. Wow! That started smoking the second it hit the bottom. <laughs> Just 35, 14 seconds. Uh -huh. The same position is very important. Uh -huh. No change the position. This is great. Beautiful. Voila. You want to try? I would love to try. Okay. <laughs> it's very soft. Oh, that's very soft. Mm. Another test. That is stunning. It's absolutely stunning. The smell of the dough? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You can really smell the dough. There's a kind of a beery, yeasty smell. That, 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 that edge to it, that very, very, it's not burned. It's just it's slightly carbonized, but just delicious. And the mushroom is gorgeous. That's an astonishingly good pizza. It really is. So, Maurizio, tell me about the dough. I use just flour, mm -hmm. type 00, right. because it's very light. Mm -hmm. right. Because I have double yeah. fermentation, you know? Just a second rise. Yes. yes. Mm. The dough is, is like an animal, because mm. it has the bacteria inside. It's alive. Uh, it's alive. Yeah. Okay, let's give it a try. You want to try? I'll okay. try. Okay. Okay. Yes. Like that? Okay. Oh, <laughs> making holes already. <laughs> <laughs> Close the hole. Close the hole. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm, not, I'm so not going to get a job, am I really? Mushroom. Some mushrooms? Okay. Chorizo. <laughs> and voila. One, okay. Ready? Okay. Parmesan, oil. Parmesan. Ah, the oil goes on last. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Voila. Flour. You have a future for uh, pizza <laughs> chef? I doubt it very much. Here we go. So this is the bit that you made yes. look so easy, and I won't. Okay. Voila. Ah. Okay. Right. To the right. Okay, here it goes. In. Strong. And off. Whoop. Beautiful. Don't touch. Touch when the pizza is blonde. When it's blonde? It's blonde, you possible. Got it. Okay, then, so then it lifts, and yeah. you do the kind of rotating Yes. Movement. Okay. Pizza is blonde, you possible touch. Okay, it's starting to blow up in a really interesting way, like a balloon. Okay, now that's blonde. Touch. Yes. Okay, so ah. rotation. Ah. Uh, I don't know if I'm exactly rotating. Oh, that rotates. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, I've got a rotation there. That's good. That's good. And ready? Take off. Okay. That's a uh, cheat there. And on the plate? <laughs> what do you reckon? It's good. That's it's a bit crispy here, but you that's yeah, yeah, I've got the little bubbles at the edge. I'm absurdly proud of that. 
Try your pizza. That's, that's fantastic. <laughs> okay, this is going to be ferociously hot, isn't it? Here we go. Well, it's good. The well, it's nowhere near as good as yours. <laughs> I asked the manager Amos how this fantastic oven was built. The two families who specialised in oven building for generations came over from Naples for the project. The oven shape is built from fire bricks and then buried under four tonnes of volcanic sand, which is then encased in the outer wall. And then it's time to light it. What we do is we, we start it with one piece of wood. One single log. One, one single log. Then yes. two hours later, we add another yeah. single log. And then that's for the first day, for instance. Yeah. The second day, they increase a little bit the heat. But then we've achieved, after the first week, about 350 degrees, yeah. which is not the right temperature for mm. our product. But a week later, when the oven is, was completely dry, was completely up to scratch, the product, as you can see today, came out how it should so be. So it's really taken what, more than a month to get... It, it, yes, the right definitely yes. Definitely yes. It does really take time. How long would it take to cool down if you switched it off? That is probably take about 10 days. 10 days. Yeah. 10-12 days, the drop days to drop down. Yeah, yeah, the drop down absolutely to the, incredible. Absolutely indeed. And so that Nothing will probably, else. unless it has to be repaired, that oven will never be switched off in its whole life? No, never. Thank you very much. Both You're more than welcome. Thank you. Thank you. It's lovely to meet you. Thanks very much. much. It's obviously been enormous fun to be taught how to make a pizza by a third generation pizza expert. That's been terrific. But there's also something else going on here which I've really enjoyed. It's the idea that if you do something really, really simple, and you concentrate on it, and you get all the ingredients right, then the result can be absolutely stunning. I think that in itself is um, probably the best thing I've learned so far.